Hi, I'm Brian Christ with AudioBiz, and today we're going to teach you how to scan for open frequencies and sync the receivers and transmitters in the PSM 300 series of personal wireless monitors by Shure. We'll begin with the P3R, which is the standard belt pack with plastic construction. Simply open the unit up and hold down the scan button until the display starts changing. Once it does, it's going to go through the entire bandwidth to find the best available frequency. This can take up to 10 or 15 seconds. Once it's finished scanning all of the groups and the channels, it will settle down, and once it does that, we can begin the process of syncing it. You see our sync window here, and there's a matching one on the transmitter. Simply place it in front, hit the sync button, and after a few seconds, we are set to go. It's a very similar process on the P3RA, which is the advanced metal belt pack version of the receiver. Simply open it up, hold down the scan button, and it's going to go through and in a similar fashion scan all of the groups and channels until it finds an appropriate and open channel. Once that's completed, again, you can simply place it in front, hit the sync button, and we are all set to go. Unlike wireless microphones, multiple receivers can be synced to the transmitter. This is especially helpful if you're using something like mix mode, where you might have instruments on the left channel, vocals on the right, and using Shure's mix mode, making a single mono mix uh, for your own personal use with your own personal mix between the two. In this fashion, one transmitter can feed many receivers, so it's great if you're trying to get an entire band on ears in a budget. Thanks for sticking around for that tutorial. Until next time, I'm Brian Christ with AudioBiz, and thank you for watching.